So hey guys, it's KMC Whatever. I am Kirsten and today's video is going to be a true crime update video. Um, every single month this past year I have been, this, this year I guess, 2020, I have been posting a true crime every single month and I just wanted to do like a recap video and kind of give you some updates that have uh, taken place in the cases that I've talked about in the past. So that is what we're gonna do today and so yeah, let's just get into this video. Okay, so my first case that I had covered in 2020 was about baby Andrew and how he is missing. So a recap, this happened on January 28th of 2020. A concerned family member asked the police to do a welfare check on a mother and her newborn baby um, just because they haven't heard from her in a while and stuff and this happened in Miami, Florida. So when officers arrived they found three uh, dead women, 40-year-old um, are Eddie Garcia Valdez, 60-year-old Isabella Valdez, and 84-year-old Lena Gonzalez. They did not find one week old Andrew anywhere. So Andrew's father, Ernesto, was also nowhere to be found. Um, please believe that Andrew was with um, Ernesto. Um, that was just what they believed. They did a thorough search and the next day they finally found Ernesto. Um, with a self-inflicted gunshot wound, um, it, but baby Andrew was still missing and nowhere to be found. So the new information that I have the, for the update, um, so John Walsh, he is known for America's Most Wanted. He has a new show called In Pursuit with John Walsh where he wanted to cover this case. Um, so he... Uh, got this case really out there so maybe we can find baby Andrew faster. Um, he has helped the police in the past so this was no different. Police believe that Ernesto was the one responsible for the murders of the three women um, which is kind of no surprise to me at least. Um, surveillance footage that they found in the home showed that Ernesto took an AR 15 rifle along with baby Andrew when he left the house. So this just confirmed to the police that baby Andrew was with Ernesto, like they had thought. Um, the rifle was found. It was um, the gun that was used to kill um, Ernesto. He, um, um, they did find it next to his body, um, but they. No reports if that was the gun that was used to kill the three women, but I'm just assuming that it was the same exact gun that killed the women, because why would you have the gun and then, you know. But anyways, um, police bloodhounds were unable to pick up a scent in Ernesto's van or anywhere near Ernesto's body, so they do believe that uh, Andrew was not with him at this point that he went to this field and shot himself. And they are not 100% sure if he was in the van at any point with Ernesto. Um, in mid-September, um, I think this is shortly after I posted this video, um, police had stopped actively searching for Andrew. Um, they got to a point where they just had no other tips, no other leads, and it just kind of became a standstill, I guess you could say. Um, Crime Stoppers and FSA are also offering an $8,000 reward on any information to find baby Andrew. Um, and tip lines were set up and they are still actively um, following those leads that they get from tip lines, but they are just relying on that. There's nothing else that they can do um, and baby Andrew is still missing. So case number two, I think, was at the beginning of March, I believe, or the beginning or the end of February. It might have been my February one. I don't know. I will insert the dates that I posted these videos and also leave all the original videos down below in the description. Um, but the next case I covered was Evelyn Boswell. 
she so here's the review of um, the recap of the video that I did um, Evelyn Boswin was a 15 month old so she was a little over a year grandfather reported her missing in February but they had not seen her since December um, Megan Boswell claimed that she didn't know where Evelyn was she was crying all over camera interviews and acting like she really was concerned for her child but every time that the police talked to her she would change her story um, one time it was my mom took her camping the other time was I have no idea where she is um, it was just kind of like a lot of different stories so they didn't know really what to believe she even told um, police that she was pregnant when she really was not pregnant again so Evelyn's grandmother Angela and her boyfriend got arrested for fleeing the town with a stolen car um, because Megan did state that she was with um, Angela so then they were really on their case about that um, and Tennessee police so this happened in Tennessee um, Tennessee police believe that Angela knew where Evelyn was, but they just couldn't prove anything. Um, eventually Megan was arrested and charged with falsifying a report. Um, basically she was just changing her story all the time and this is just, I don't know. Her bond was set at $25,000, but has now recently increased to $150,000. Um, police were being told that Evelyn was in different places, like I mentioned before, she was at a campsite, she was in North Carolina, um, it was just, there was a lot of different places that she was said to be in, and none of it was true, really. Um, so here's the new information that is regarding this case. In early March, I think this is shortly after I posted the video, or shortly before I posted it, um, which I already recorded it already. Um, in early March, police believed that um, they received a tip that led them to a property that the family had owned, um, which we had later found out that it was uh, her actual home that she was Megan was living in with Evelyn, that the tip was led to them. Um, and the police ended up doing a search of the property. They looked in the pond that was in their yard by their house. They looked inside the house. They looked under the house. They looked in the shed. And they found the uh, body of a young child along with baby clothes, toys, diapers um, taken in to confirm if it was Evelyn or not. And the, the body that they did find was confirmed to be Evelyn Boswell. Um, William McLeod, which is Angela's boyfriend that I stated before about getting arrested, um, they did get bailed out. They did get released for a while. Um, and then he got um, arrested again and is put in jail for a domestic assault case that had happened with his ex-girlfriend and apparently he is a child abuser so they believe that he might have done something to Evelyn and possibly killed her um, but they don't know for sure his bond was set at $50,000 um, Megan is still in jail for falsifying a report uh, her bail is now set at $150,000 like I mentioned before um, and Angela did get out of prison, uh, or did get out of jail. She's on bail. Um, and no one is being arrested or being charged with Evelyn's death right now. Um, everything that they're all being charged with is all other things that are not involving the death of Evelyn right now. Um, the autopsy has not been released on Evelyn. Um, so we don't know if she... So, my next case that I covered, I think in the middle of March, maybe the April maybe? I don't know. I, again, we'll insert when I actually posted these because I really don't know. But Don Lewis, the, the um, case of missing Don Lewis. Um, and if you don't know, let's do a recap on that case. So Don Lewis was a self-made millionaire. Uh, he 
basically built his empire based on estates and um, his tiger rescue and that kind of stuff. He ended up going missing in August of 1997 um, and the case kind of became known due to the Netflix original Tiger King. Um, it's an eight part series as far as I know and I think they released some new episodes on that. Um, but Don was to leave uh, for Costa Rica. That's what he told everyone he was gonna move there. Um, and his van, his van was found at the airport there. He did find that his Costa Rica home that he had purchased in Costa Rica was empty, like no one was there. Um, and no one in Costa Rica, all of his friends, family, any anybody down there, co-workers, nobody saw him in Costa Rica, like recently. Um, there was a conspiracy theory that came out from Joe Exotic. Uh, another tiger rescue place um, that, or an, an animal, a zoo rescue, I think, honestly. Um, that said that Don's wife, Carol Baskin, had killed her husband and fed him to the tigers. Um, information, there's not much. This case is super, super old and has been very, very cold for a really long time. And Stuff, but due to the show Tiger King getting so much popularity, the police have now decided to reopen the case and try to figure out what really happened to him. Um, it wasn't like a closed case, but it wasn't like an active case either. And they made it more of a little bit more of an active case. Um, they do have tip lines set up, I think, that if you have any information, they'll, lead, they'll find a lead on that. But um, as to of this day, Don Lewis is still missing. This case is about Ahmad Arbery. Um, let's just do a recap of the case. If you haven't seen the, the whole case, you might want to watch it. There's a lot going on with it. But he was a 25-year-old. Uh, he went out for a jog in a neighborhood that he frequently jogged through in Burswick, Georgia on February 23rd of 2020 uh, when two guys, Travis McMichael and Greg McMichael, ended up grabbing their guns and jumping into a truck and went to follow him and stop him and talk to him. Um, and then a guy by the name William Rody Ryan uh, recorded the video that went viral. There was a video that went viral showing the altercation and showing the final moments of Ahmad. Um, and you kind of see Ahmad grabbing the gun, trying to protect himself, getting pushed, and you know, a horrible thing. And then in the video, you can hear three gunshots go off. You can see Ahmad stumble to the stumble and fell to the ground. Um, and it took two months before the men got arrested, and they got arrested on May 7th of 2020. Let's talk about all the new information that has been arose from this case. On May 21st, the police ended up arresting William Rody Bryan. Um, then police found that he was a neighbor of the McMichaels. Um, they also found that he had helped the McMichaels trap our mod into um, in between the two trucks. Um, he hit him with his truck and then he also shot the video. Um, our mod's autopsy showed that the death uh, was a homicide like everyone was saying. Uh, he was shot in the upper left chest, the lower middle chest, and he got a graze on his right wrist. Um, they did find that Travis's shot was the fatal shot. Um, there was no signs of alcohol or drugs in Armad's system. Um, the Michaels were charged with felony murder and aggravated assault. Um, judge denied bail for both of them. They did not want to set a bail at all for them. Um, Brian, William Bryan, was charged with felony murder and attempt to commit false imprisonment. 
Judge did deny bail for Brian as well. The prompted proposals for hate crime laws in Georgia. Georgia is one of the four states in the United States that does not have a hate law, hate crime law. Um, which the fifth case was a case about George Floyd. Um, it is also a really widely known case. Um, let's do a recap on the case. If you don't know, on May 25th of 2020, 46 year old George Floyd was arrested after trying to use a counterfeit $20 bill at a grocery store in Minneapolis, Minnesota. A security camera caught George uh, being arrested and was handcuffed and face down on the ground when Officer Derek Shaved had pressed his knee against George, uh, Floyd's neck for eight minutes. You do hear George say that he can't breathe. He, like, kind of becomes lethargic, I think, um, before he passed out and eventually stopped breathing. He kept his knee on Floyd's neck until EMTs got there and told him to take it off so they could help him. Um, autopsy report that he died from a cardiopulmonary arrest caused by being restrained, but there was a second autopsy requested by the family that found asphyxiation as the cause of death due to neck compression, um, restricting the blood flow to the brain, and the back restricting, meaning that he couldn't breathe. Let's see. Protests kind of began in Minneapolis and kind of spread over 400 cities internationally. And it was insane. People were ruining cars, buildings, they were you know, looting, they were stealing stuff from stores. This was just a crazy time. And in the mix of all of this was the coronavirus and how pandemic that we were having at this point. I mean, we're still in the pandemic, if anyone wanted to know, but, but you know. Uh, Derek Shaver was arrested on May 29th of 2020, um, and he was charged with third degree murder and second degree manslaughter. Now, the new information on this um, case, um, the other three officers were also arrested. Um, and they were charged with abiding and abetting second degree murder. Um, and their bail was set for Derek at $1.25 million. That is a lot. I don't think I've ever heard anybody get that high of a bail. Um, usually it's like, you know, a hundred thousand is like crazy, but you know, a million dollars. This is not, they're not playing around. Um, and the other three officers involved was set at one million dollars, which is again, crazy to me. Um, so allegations from eight correctional officers of color working at the jail claim that before Shevin was transferred to state prison, they were not allowed to work in the unit that Derek was incarcerated at. Um, they also claimed that the jail was giving Derek special, special treatment. Um, the example of this is that there was an incident where an officer or a lieutenant, I think, um, gave... Uh, had access to Derek's cell and was giving him his cell phone so he could use uh, her cell phone. Um, and the Minnesota Department of Human Rights opened an investigation into these claims to see if there really was special treatment given to him. So give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Comment down below what you think of all these cases. If anything, anything at all, I don't really... Yeah, I just don't agree with any of this. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on the bell notification so you're notified when we post every single Friday. This is Kamsi Whatever, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!